What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm bringing you guys with um, let's talk about Stipe versus me, uh, Stipe Miocic versus uh, Francis Ngannou. It's gonna happen this Saturday. I did a prediction a while ago, but it was really rapid. I didn't really think about it, just my first initial thoughts. But um, in the last fight, we definitely saw um, how fast Ngannou could hit, could um could get very fatigued, you know, he got fatigued very, very fast. Um, and, and Stipe got the respect in his hands. You know, he took him down like so many times and he really grinded him out. You know, there was um, a lot of times when Stipe could have submitted Ngannou, but he was just focusing on, you know, punishing him on the ground, getting, getting him very, just like laying on him, you know, laying on him, punching him, making Ngannou carry all his weight. Um, Stipe, you know, took some heavy shots in that fight. And one major thing we have to look at is um, Stipe, Stipe's longevity in the sport because that man has been in so many either. Um, how do I explain it? So let's talk about first off, most recent, his eye problems with DC. Um, this has been a very occurring thing in the May, the, the gloves and the, the fingers. We saw with Bilal and um, Leon Edwards, um, John Jones, he likes to find the range, but they're always like, you know, with their fingers like this. Even Connor sometimes just finds it with his hands like that, you know. DC, he flicks his jab out, like he like flicks it sometimes and it might like scratch you and stuff like Stipe's eyes last fight. No, no, the second fight just mashed up. Um. And in the second fight, you could also tell that they were grabbing each other's hands a lot, you know? That's where Stipe got the eventually finishing finishing sequence. They were like grabbing hands and then Stipe came under to the body, but that's a recurring thing with Stipe and, and DC that they were like, you know, engaging in finger, hand grabbing, if that makes sense or whatever. Stipe's eyes were very messed up. That's why I think the the, the last fight was um, it took so long to um, take place. Basically, secondly, the Engano fight he took some big shots in that fight. He might have not gotten knocked down. That doesn't mean he didn't take a lot of damage. Um, I think I put some clips right here. I mean, there were some shots where like Engano was like backing up and he just hits it, and his, Stipe's head just wobbles like. So Stipe has has taken a lot a lot of damage, and he I I can't remember at the top of the head how old he he is, but for his age he moves really fast. He has very slick head movement, very clean boxing, very fast for a heavyweight, very very fucking fast. Um, so I feel like let's just say Ngannou, it goes into the second round. Ngannou hasn't gone to the second round in his since Derek Lewis. So it was Stipe and then Derek Lewis. So those two fights went the distance. Um, after that, he dismantled everyone in under, all in under a minute and 10 seconds, I believe, something like that. So this man has not been in those later rounds since a long time. Um, and obviously, as we've seen with Connor, um, you can train as much as you want, but when it comes to the fight, I mean, if you're not a fish, oh, sorry, if you're not efficient with your shot selections, you're going to fatigue. Um, so let's see how crisp uh, Ngannou's punches are, will be. Because if he can connect... I mean, the thing is with Ngannou, he doesn't have to connect hard. Like, even if he just taps you, you're going to feel it. So Ngannou has to be composed, pick your shots. Be patient. Because um, with uh, Rosenstrike, he did swing like crazy like a crazy man just got the tko like i said that is what i feel like then is gonna go for they definitely work they're definitely working on his conditioning so his conditioning is way better than the first fight so why not just blitz him for the first minute you know just just see if he connects you know after that obviously stay composed um defend the takedowns if steep pace shoots um and in all, just pick your shots correctly. He needs to be very accurate. Um, I believe he gets it done in no no more than two rounds. Um, 
But let's talk about Stipe now. Stipe, like I said, very quick head movement, very light on his feet, and very fast. Um, he has the takedowns in him. He has the wrestling in him. I would like to see him go for any submissions if he gets them gone to the ground. Um, if it goes to the ground, you know, Nunganu has been working on a bit of submissions, like his coaches have been saying. He, with his strength, I mean, you don't have to be a black belt. He literally just has to get you in a real naked, real, rear naked choke, and he'll submit you. Like, the power that man has, the squeeze he must have. Um, And I can see why Stipe is the underdog, because... Like I said, it doesn't. When you have that type of power, you don't really need to be a world class striker or a world class grappler to finish the fight. If Nganu gets a Kimura on you, the grip he's gonna have and the leverage he's gonna have to like um, rotate, you know, your arm is like, you know, that's what I'm saying. You don't really need to be world class for you to, you know, lock in a submission, or you don't need to be world class for you to connect probably the 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 um uh, how do i explain it he doesn't need to have the best boxing for him to knock out a very good boxer he has the power that's what i'm saying um so let's see if um Nganu's cardio gets tested and let's see if uh Stipe's chin gets tested but in all, it depends on Nagano's conditioning because if he can go three rounds, let's see if he can carry the power throughout the whole fight. But I got Nagano first round KO. Um, that's my prediction for Nagano for Stipe. I do believe he could get it done in like the third round. Um, if Nagano fatigues, I feel like um, because Nagano is obviously still going to be very dangerous in the later rounds, even if he's fatigued. But he's definitely had time to 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 learn how to defend the takedown the takedowns. So I feel like Stipe is not going to really have a lot of success with the takedowns. If Nagano's still fresh, if Nagano's a little bit of fatigued, he might have a little bit of success. But Nagano is always going to be dangerous throughout the whole fight. Um, but I do feel like his hands are will drop a lot because he has big heavy arms big big body so i feel like his arms will get very tired he'll fatigue um and yeah i feel like he can get it done in the third round ko if and got no fatigues yeah that's my prediction guys i hope you guys like the video and peace out